<coughs> now 12.8 here we have to convert rupees into paisa and for that as I told you 3 rupees have to convert into paisa how 1 rupee equals to 100 paisa so 3 rupee equals to 3 into 100 so 300 paisa 17 paisa 17 into 100 1700 paisa next one is 4 rupees 20 paisa so I will convert 4 rupees first into paisa then I will add 20 so it will be 420 paisa third one E is 25, 35 rupees 80 paisa so again first I am converting 35 rupees it is 3500 plus 80 3580 paisa next one is convert the paisa into rupees here I have to do the division so 400 divided by 100 0 0 if we cut out we get 4 100 into 4 400 so 400 rupees 845 paisa 8 Eight four five pesa, eight hundred forty five pesa. I divide it with hundred, so I will get eight rupees. Because here, if I do the division, you can understand how I got here. Eight four five, eight sir, eight hundred, so forty five. So eight rupees forty five pesa. Six pesa. I divide with hundred, and I will get zero point six five, sixty five. 100 not going point zero six six hundred fifty as point is there as already there is a point I can put a zero here and I can write five five hundred and I get six zero point six five same two Pesa, easy, easiest way I can teach you, 1, 2, so 2, I have to give one more 0, and I can give point, and then 0, as we have learned into division, so if I want to do it, 100, 2, now first one, again not going, putting a 0, I do 2, not going, 0, here one more 0, then 2, 200 both the ways you can do you count two zero one number one zero you put and put point and then you can write that one also okay eight pesa same way eight divided by hundred you get zero point eight pesa you get zero point eight pesa now next question is profit loss the profit loss Rahul brought a sofa for rupees 25,000 and sold it for 32,000 so here if uh, for buying it is CP and for selling it is SP CP means cost price and SP means selling price so when I know SP is bigger than CP the formula will be SP minus CP and it will be profit so here CP of the sofa is 25,000 and it is 32,000 so it is all profit so I did the subtraction and it is 1700 profit so cost of sofa cost of SP of sofa profit equals to therefore profit of the profit equals to this much next one is uh, Harsh weaves baskets at home in Assam he makes a profit of rupees 350 on a basket he sells rupees 800 what is the cost price so here we are getting the profit and we are getting the SP now when profit and SP is given and we have to find CP what we have to do we have to just follow on the formula the formula is SP is given if I am finding CP and SP minus profit if I have to find SP CP plus profit okay if CP then SP minus profit and if SP then CP plus profit so here according to the question we have to find the CP so CP equals to SP minus profit so SP 
profit is 350 sp is 800 so 800 minus 350 so cost of the price uh, basket is 450 okay <coughs> c we are not doing we will do e uh, rohit brought goods worth rupees 1300 he sold them to make a profit of 250 so what is the sp so cp of the good is 1300 sp is 250 so what i have to do i have to do because sp equals to cp plus profit so i added it and i got the sp it is 1550 okay now now we will do eight parts brought a bike of 42000 he spent rupees 1800 on it for repairing and some parts and sold it for 41,000. So how much profit he have made or lost? Now, if I buy one pencil for 10 rupees, one uh, thing for 10 rupees, and I spend 4 rupees on it, then the cost will be increasing because uh, uh, the cost price is 10 rupees and plus the repairing thing is plus 4. So it is 14. And if I sell it for 10 rupees, then 4 rupees less loss I am having. So here also bike he brought for 42,000. Now for repairing he took 1,800. First we will add this two. So this one added I got 43,820. Now the SP of the bike is 4,100. So now if I see this number with the SP then it seems that SP is less. That means it is loss. So loss will be SP minus uh, CP minus SP because SP is lesser than CP and so the loss on the selling of the bike is 2800 okay